Hi, it's Gab, and I'm reviewing The Other Guys, the new action comedy starring Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg as mismatched, of course, uh, partners, uh, cops. Uh, they're the other guys uh, in the precinct in New York City. They're the hot shot, uh, the sexy rock and roll razzle dazzle uh, cops who take down the bad guys and uh, get all the adoration and then there's the other guys who are the desk jockeys uh, for various reasons and who live in the shadows of, uh, of the hot shots who uh, are briefly played by The Rock Wayne Johnson, Wayne, Dwayne Johnson and uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Hilarious but basically just cameos if you're expecting expecting to see lots of them. I won't tell you why they're just cameos, but uh, suffice it to say that the other guys need to step up and uh, solve a pretty uh, rote, weak crime plot, uh, which is the very weak spine uh, for this story, uh, this plot, if you can call it that. But otherwise, what really matters is the comedy, obviously, and the comedic uh, chemistry of the two leads, uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Do they have it? That's what I really wanted to see. I thought it was interesting pairing to see these two different uh, energies together and I believe the script was written with uh, Mark Wahlberg in mind, certainly with Will Ferrell in mind because it's written and directed by Adam McKay who is a big Will Ferrell collaborator, um, Step Brothers, Anchorman, Talladega Nights, Funny or Die is their creation. So I uh, wasn't too worried about uh, the source material, um, um, but the the, the casting, if the, if the chemistry would be right and if the humor would be uh, worthy enough of the, of the pairing. And I gotta say, it really was. I found uh, this pairing really charming and very hilarious. If anything, Mark Wahlberg for me was the funnier. He brought this uh, hilarious, angry comedic energy uh, to his role. And Will Ferrell was the more uh, subdued, uh, I won't say straight man, there's no way Will Ferrell could be a straight man, but he definitely played it down and his character was a bit more uh, restrained um, character-wise and humor-wise. Um, and it worked really well together. I mean, Mark Wahlberg really played off of his uh, persona of the sort of the, the loose cannon uh, tough guy that he's sort of known for. But he, he, he satirized that to great comedic effect. He like yells everything he says and he's just really pissed off all the time. And it's hilarious. I like that kind of humor. And actually Will Ferrell usually does that sort of angry man or angry man-child kind of thing. And here he's the more suppressed, but he has some weird uh, things going on with his character under the surface. They both do, um, which just adds to, to the characters. These characters actually do have certain dimension, uh, comedic dimensions, uh, not deep uh, philosophical existential ones, but uh, their characters go off on some tangents that are uh, pretty... Uh, pretty bizarre and unexpected. There's lots of sort of scenes and jokes that sort of come out of left field and are really quite refreshing and keep the pace going very nicely um, between the sort of the one-on-one -on -one dialogue scenes and the bit more of the uh, typical action um, cop kind of scenes. Uh, the pace was pretty well sustained. Now as I said the plot, uh, the supposed crime that they're trying to solve is extremely weak and normally that would uh, disappoint and annoy me, but I let it pass on this because I was just thoroughly entertained the whole time. I didn't feel the need for a tight plot so much as I just enjoyed watching these two. And also Michael Keaton, hello, where's he been? I know he's been around, but I haven't really noticed him or remembered the last time I saw him in something. Certainly not something funny. I think he's been doing more dramatic stuff lately. And uh, he's he's funny. Michael Keaton is great to see him again. He uh, plays their captain. And again, playing against the type of the typical hard-boiled captain uh, that you see um, in the typical buddy uh, action cop flick. So it was a nice balance of what you sort of want to see with a uh, buddy uh, cop. Uh, pairing, uh, but also satirizing, turning it all a bit on its head, a bit askew um, as well. So I found it had a really nice uh, tonal uh, balance to it that was maintained. Um, it's not going to win any Oscars, but if you need some escapism, a uh, good laugh. This is um, one of the only comedies I've really seen this summer. Didn't see Dinner for Schmucks or Get Him to the Greek, but I really enjoyed it. I needed it. I had a bad day at work, and this was the perfect uh, release for that. And I had some really 
pretty good action shots and some cool cool shots and scenes um, that were very sort of visually very well directed and um, handled and some great music in it too. So I would almost recommend seeing it uh, in the theater if, if you can make it. Otherwise definitely as I would say a rental because um, you're going to get some laughs out of this one. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't want to guarantee you but uh, I, I certainly did and I'm not the easiest to please. Anyway that's the other guys. Thanks for watching.